we're going to use the isolate feature now, which is this button just below the encoder knob on the channel. And each channel has one of these. And all this does is it allows a channel to be removed from automation recall. So a typical example, um, you may have a show that's rehearsed, but you've got a, an understudy performing on one of the evenings and you need to use a channel to control them through the night. So you don't want that channel to be responding to your pre-programmed um, cues. So I'm going to run a sequence here, a very basic snapshot recall, so we can see these faders moving, like so. I'm then going to scroll back up to the top of the queue list. And I'll, let's assume that this channel here is going to be isolated tonight from the show recall. So again, I go up to the top of the channel, press the isolate button. The channel then glows in this purple color here. Now when I run the sequence, we'll see that everything else moves, but that channel doesn't. So all the settings for that channel will remain unaffected by automation recall.